Hi everybody. Today I'm going to tell you about iSpring Converter Pro 9, the ultimate tool for online presentations. You can find the Converter Pro tab right here on the PowerPoint ribbon and publish presentations to HTML5 or video format, which looks great on the web on any device while perfectly preserving all effects. Plus, you can enhance your presentations with audio narrations, customize with your company branding, and much more. If you head over to Preview, you can also see that your course works on different devices. Now, back here in the editor, I'll start by recording a quick intro with this Record Audio button. I can see the slide notes right over here, which I'll use as a script. Ok, let's go ahead and start recording. In this course, we're going to look at how to start working from home, arranging your space, tools, and mindset. Now that I'm done, I can go over here to Manage Narration and see how the audio clip fits in with my presentation. If I need to, I can edit the clip or change the slide timings. Back here on the toolbar, you can also add YouTube videos right on the slide, as well as web objects. A web object is like a live web page that you can put right in your presentation. For example, you might want to include a Wikipedia article for further reference. The Slide Properties window gives you a bird's eye view of your whole presentation and gives you instant access to PowerPoint features like slide timings and advanced settings. I'm just going to make this first slide advance automatically. There's also a bunch of other stuff you can only do with iSpring, like configure unique branching scenarios, add presenters, change player layout, and add a background music playlist. Here in the presentation resources window, you can attach extra materials to your presentation. As you can see, I've attached a PDF file and added a hyperlink to the iSpring website. You can add more links and attachments with these buttons right here. Now let's go ahead and check out the player. You can fully customize the layout and choose which bars and buttons you want to include. I also want to change the color scheme, so I'll just go over here and pick a nice preset from the list. If you want, you can also change the playback and navigation settings and the text labels if you want to translate to another language, for example. Ok, now we're ready to publish. You can publish to your computer for sharing later or upload directly to iSpring Cloud Sharing Service or iSpring Learn LMS. If you're using a third-party LMS, you can generate a compatible package to upload with this button. Or upload in video format directly to YouTube. Let's go ahead and publish an HTML5 right to my computer. Ok, now let's view our course. In this course, we're going to look at how to start working from home. I can see my new color scheme and here are the resources that I attached right here in the resources menu. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out more about iSpring Converter Pro 9, go to iSpringSolutions.com.